everybody. Hello. It's Black Friday. We aren't typically real big Black Friday shoppers, but there is a couple of things we want to go look at to see if we can find good deals. So right now we're on our way to Costco because, what was it, two years ago? Last year? I think that was last year. They had a turkeys on sale for like, I don't know, two or three bucks for like a, 20 pound a giant 20 pound turkey. So we'll get a couple and just throw them in the freezer and use them whenever yeah. we feel like having a turkey. We're not those Black Friday people that like rush out No, at all. We wait until everything dies down and then go yeah. later in the day. <laughs> it's mid-afternoon right now. Plus she had to work this morning. Yeah. We are on our way to Costco to see what they have and then we're going to go to the mall and see what we can find there. last year but it's still only 99 cents a pound and five dollars on these turkey so we grabbed a couple it's gonna save us a few bucks in the end it's great they're only like seven dollars for you know a 15 pound turkey so it's perfect we stop for our lunch break I'm really hoping that when we go to the mall after that I don't have panic attacks because we tried to go in another store and I literally just stood there and Ashley was like, you're just staring. So it's a lot of people for me to handle today and it's giving me a lot of anxiety. But I really want to try to go get some makeup so I can try to learn to do it and mess around a little bit. I'm just a bit nervous that we're going to like go into the mall or go into the Sephora and I'm just not going to be able to handle it. So we'll see. Do any of you guys get really anxious like that when you're just in crowds of people and just like overstimulated? Comment below, let me know. This is what traffic is like right around the mall right now. The parking is out of control. All the way to the end of each aisle. This is Black Friday apparently. First stop is going to be to look at the maternity store hoping for some sales because we need some stuff to go on what we are going to call our baby, baby moon, moon for Christmas. matching. There's this one and then there's this one. This one I think looks a lot better. I could tell for sure on camera too. Yeah. This one is like a little too orangey. This one's more like your actual skin color. Decisions, decisions. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's really overwhelming. She's got these things. The there's color master, which was nice, but now I'm actually trying to figure it out and it's really, really hard and complicated. Finding something. Hey, we needed them when our power went out. So we left the mall. Thank goodness, because it was too it was much. Insane. It was, too so much. Like it was like you can't get through this wall of people. I don't think I'll do it again. <laughs> I don't think we've ever been to Black Friday or to the a mall, mall on a Black Friday. No. It was, and nothing we got was re well really on sale, other than like you got some maternity stuff, but it was clearance. All in all, I got a couple of things from the maternity store. Brittany got some new makeup, and we got we each got a pair of boots. Nothing too crazy, but it was fun to go out and... It's fun to go on a little shopping spree. You know, I mean, this yeah. is basically what we do to get ourselves some stuff for Christmas. Yes. I'm excited to try to do my makeup and let you guys see what it's going to look like. It's been a long time in that store. You were so supportive. You were so cute trying to put stuff on me, too. I can't wait I don't necessarily me. know what I'm doing, either, but... More than me. I tried. <laughs> yeah. And they were super helpful and super nice. It was just a lot and hard to... Stay focused. I'm exhausted. My feet are killing me. <sighs> Being pregnant is not easy. And this heartburn is like constant. I'm at that point. We're gonna go on a date and we're gonna take you with us. 
date night for us usually just means going to dinner and we're not like fancy or anything by any means. But that's why we're getting makeup though, so we can have a fancy yeah. date nights. We can get dressed up and go somewhere else. Really I know nice. nothing about that right now. She's gorgeous without anything, right? Yeah, especially with this dark light, man. You can barely see me. <laughs> so we're walking in to our favorite Mexican place. Our waiter better be here. We have a favorite <laughs> waiter, and we hope he's here because he treats us so nicely and he gets us extra vegetables, which is very important. We're pretty complicated when we go to order places because there's a lot of things we choose not to eat, and this guy really helps us out. He's just so nice. So here we go. More tries there. <laughs> no giving up. Yes. I'm so bad at that stuff. You're beautiful. You shush. And he's running laps because she's cold, and I've tried to video, <laughs> so she's running laps. <laughs> are we ready? We just finished dinner, and we're going here. Can you see where we are? Let's to get dessert. They have gluten-free cheesecake. She can't eat it, but I can, so we're gonna get some. <laughs> Gluten-free option. It's Godiva. Chocolate, chocolate, gluten-free cheesecake. Do you see all this whipped cream? I've got two giant piles of it. We're gonna go to the store and get Brittany <laughs> some cool whip. Just cool whip. coconut, coconut, coconut cool whip. Because she can't have dairy, so she can't have this. Even a bite would make her stomach hurt really bad. So we're gonna go get her some whipped cream to eat, because that's the closest thing that she can have to cheese. <laughs> A little chilly out here. Uh, and it's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> She's got him. She's happy. And because, of course, we were watching Holiday Baking Championship, <laughs> someone might have made cookies last night, too. <laughs> so. I did. I made the best peppermint chocolate cookies last night. See, this is what happens when you watch baking shows. Yeah, you bake. I'll see anything wrong with it. Did you catch my slow blink? The slow blink is new. She says I do it to her all the time, and she does it to me all the time now. I have a question. I pretty much never drink full strength coffee. I always add some decaf in there, and I can't drink a whole lot of regular coffee now that I'm pregnant, but why? is organic decaf coffee so hard to find 
even just decaf. We're at the grocery store and there's none in there. Like no decaf to zero. be found. There was zero decaf. Like that's all. so strange. I am not the only person in the world that drinks decaf coffee. Or at least like there wasn't even like a half and half or anything like that. No, there was nothing. Like not in the bulk section and not in the regular prepackaged coffee section. I don't understand. I or can't drink full strength coffee either. And no, because it makes her anxious. Not good for me. But we're on our way home now. It's been a good date night. It has been. It's been a nice and prompt date night. Our waiter was not there. No, which Daniel was really there. sad. However, we still got excellent service. We still. We still got our extra vegetables. Yes. I'm gonna eat my lovely cheesecake with lots of cool cool whip. No, not cool. No, you have whipped cream. cream. I got, got the, the real cool stuff. stuff. Yeah. Jinx! And Brittany's gonna eat some of the cookies I made last night with some coconut cool whip. Ooh, it's ooh. gonna be delicious. What a good night. You guys should go on an impromptu date night. Let us know what you do. We really appreciate your support. If you aren't already, please subscribe to our channel so we can continue getting out content for you guys. Otherwise, we'll check in with you later. Bye.